I'm Melanie Keller and I'm the President and CEO of Meriton Incorporated. Our mission statement is to improve well-being and promote independence throughout life stages with quality and compassion. And all of our programs really speak to the independence in promoting well-being. Good morning, Ms. Gray. Did Meriton, how may I direct your call? The Senior Jobs Program it's, is um, officially um, called our, our Title V Senior Employment Program. And it is a job retraining program for people age 55 and older. It's probably the best job I've had, I think, in my life. I did accounting for like almost 20 years. This, you know, you meet people, you see new people, different people every day, so it, it's amazing. One moment. Hi, my name is Betty Wiseman. I'm 73 years old, and I work for Meriton as receptionist. It helped me because I wasn't doing anything but just getting lazy. So it helped, gave me a purpose. <laughs> if you want to live a long life, find something to do, and that's what I've done. Our foster care program uh, focuses on children that have behavioral needs and medical needs. Children enter the program through usually very difficult, life-changing situations. At 16, I pretty much became an adult. Like, if I had to get a job to provide for my family at that time, I would have. And that's why, again, I'm grateful for, for Meriton because they took that pressure off my shoulders so I, I could be a kid. I'm Octavius Adams. Uh, I'm a sociology major at U of M. My occupation is being a full-time student and also I'm in network marketing. At 16, my mom was incarcerated. I was in and out of school so I had to watch what babysit my brother and sister. My grades dropped and I had to cook. I had to be a full parent at 16. So like being a child was, was basically out the picture. So it caused me to go to foster care and they provided Meriton as a program for us to, to go to. And we serve children from birth to, to 18 years of age. We provide services to individuals with intellectual disabilities. We have several models of residential support. We have the family model residential supports, which is where an individual lives with a family in their home. They, in essence, become part of that family. Uh, June 8th. 2001, she brought Jeremy to meet me, and when he come in my house, the first thing he do, he loves videos. So he grabbed the video and started flicking through it. Well, I knew right then when Jeremy come in my house, I, I think what it is, I felt sorry for him because he didn't have a mom and he was 14. I had a 14-year-old son, and all I could think about is, uh, if I died, who would take care of mine? Married to me at 29 years old. If I needed anything from Meriton, you know, they real good about giving me whatever I need if I need anything. His disability, they was able to get the right doctors for me that would give him the right care that he needs. They not only open their homes, but they open their hearts to these children, and that, that's what makes the difference. We offer homemaker services, which are what are considered non-skilled services, basically to help people be independent in their home, a lot of people that are at risk for nursing home placement. My name is Alma Jean Blankenship. I clean up for her, I help her with her bath, her bed, wash her hair, make sure it keep her from falling, and sit and talk with her. She does everything. I trust her. She's my best friend. She's my best friend. Thank you, Phyllis. You're welcome. And the goal of the Homemaker Program is ultimately to keep people as independent as possible for as long as possible so that they don't have to go into an institutional setting such as a nursing home. We provide supports to truly the most vulnerable people in our community. From cradle to grave, from, from, from children to seniors, we're, we're filling those needs in, in a continuum.